We gotta fix oh, that next thing. Damn. Oh, Early. Uh, good evening. It's se seven oh six. Four. Okay, seven oh four. Uh, call ourselves to order the meeting of the West Newbury Board of Selectmen. This meeting is being broadcast on local cable TV and recorded for broadcast on the local cable channels and on the internet. Uh, just so uh, <clears throat> everybody that's been in the warm climes lately, we had quite some snow the last, uh, l the last month, and there are a lot of uh, large branches, trees along the, the roadsides of the whole town. And we plan on talking about it next week, but there will be some uh, some form of plan for the town to assist people in cleaning up. And we'll discuss that further next week. Cleaning up their debris that's fallen because of the storms, not cutting new branches down and trimming your yard up to put them out for us to pick up. But there will be something that we're going to plan with our DPW guy, and we'll have the whole thing in place next week. So stay tuned for further developments. Um, and uh, just in case anyone is, look, I think we'll take, can, uh, gentlemen, can I take this out of order? We'll give a, a quick paid school update and do it now instead of, sure. instead of after everything. The, the, um, the paid school is, is on schedule, basically. The, Everything is is going well with the with the cleanup with the reconstruction, and we uh, anticipate the students being back in the paid school April 9th. Well, to turn it back over, that that's the school superintendent's decision. Correct, but but that's that's the. Speaking with the superintendent, that's that's, that's the plan. That's plan. Yes. Everything's in place that we finish our stuff, they finish their stuff, so the kids will be starting school on April 9th, the Monday. Good. Okay, so um, do our next uh, item on the agenda is to deal with the, um, the, the omnibus budget, the annual town meeting articles, and special town meeting articles. Uh, I... Uh, suggest that we start with the annual town meeting articles. Okay, I was going to suggest if we did the budget because if there's a question here, I have no questions. I don't know if they do, but it might affect an article. But either way, it's fine with me. I don't care. I don't care. I just want to get through Let's, let's get through it. Yeah. Okay. Do you, do you have the current copy of the omnibus budget, and do you have any questions? It's concern? dated three twenty twenty six. Okay, what, what's your, no, but what's your, um, the, the thing to look at is, is the dates might be different because, Andy, what's your total FY 2019 requested? Uh, Last page. I don't, have, I don't have the current one on me. Sorry. Well, what's the one you have on you? Say. Well, it's gonna be different. It might be the same. 4987621. Fourteen nine eight seven six two one. Okay, good. That's the one that Andy emailed out last week. That's okay, Andy good. Emailed out last week. It was like Tuesday or something. Yeah. So okay. do you have any questions, concerns, changes to that? We had uh, made some recommendations um, prior to meeting with you, and at your last meeting, you made really all of the adjustments that we had proposed. So there was a, one additional thing we needed to discuss with you regarding the community center committee. That was uh, a line item, and then it was removed, and then it was an article, and then that was removed. And we're not opposed to the notion of doing it, but we're a little concerned that maybe in the budget is less appropriate than as an article. Can you talk to us about that a little bit? I have to say, I was out of the room right when we were talking about that. I had to. It was he, Vanessa's uh, he, request. Think, well, I, I I'm, think, I'm ambivalent either way. I don't really. Yeah. Doesn't. Can I? Maybe I can shed some light on this. I, I think this line item was the one that's had in previous years. 
And the article was something was something totally different. Okay. Yeah, the, the line item was going to be for doing the assessment, the engineering, and all this stuff that was going to they were going to try to get a study done, the, the feasibility study, so to speak, for the ends. Then they met with some people and they thought they were putting the cart between the cart before the horse, so they thought it might be better to do some more homework and stuff like that, and they might bring it in the fall. So I think there were two different things. Right. So what's what's the six thousand dollar thing back in there? What's the six thousand dollar line item to be used for in the budget then? Did they provide you with a list? Yeah. Yeah, they get, I think they she provided you with one. Okay. Yeah, I mean we're we're in support of it. We're just confused with the back and forth on the funding mechanism. And that's really all we have on the budget. I, I have I have one item. Um, uh, I got a, a veteran services. Where are we? okay? Tw um, under uh, tw uh, section twenty eight. Um, the in anticipation that uh, twenty nineteen is the bicentennial. Uh, I would propose bumping up the request for the Memorial Day expense uh, uh, so somewhat. So maybe we can get uh, uh, some additional uh, bands, and this is a one-time event. We, and we'd like to get, um, who, you know, it would be nice to get some... Uh, uh, dignitaries to speak. I won't speak for who we might have, but but to to get them to come to the parade, it would be nice to have perhaps additional um, bands in the parade. And and um, I don't have a number, but uh, I will take that as a as a. I would say five thousand. If we could up that to five thousand dollars. See, that is going to be a, a, a different parade that's a little bit unique. We're not having a parade for the bicentennial. It's going to be part of, it's going to be part of it, yeah. Part of the bicentennial year, so we want to have our Memorial Day parade be a little bit juicier. And, you know, when you get bands and you get uh, even the, um, you know, the guys that do the muskets and stuff in our parade now, we actually pay them just for their just for the gunpowder, you know what I mean? They, they do it, they march for free and stuff. So those are the type, you know what I mean? Just to give you kind of a what we use money for, we use it. Just. So I think I missed the first part because we were looking for the CCP file. So that 5,000 you're talking about is added on to the, the bicentennial article, is that? No, no. Sorry. Added be on to the Memorial Day expenses for okay. Memorial Day. Section tw section 28 in the, the last line of that. Okay. We usually use that for Memorial Day expenses. It goes to things like uh, things that happen at the Legion for the veterans. We uh, provide them with some hot dogs and some potato salad. And people, okay. the veterans meet there after the parade. Uh, Flags for the graves. Yeah, so. it, it, it provides stuff uh, insulin for the um, the parade and so forth and so on. So we're just thinking that uh, that parade. We might want to try to hire some, some marching band, you know, something that's going to cost some money to make it a little bit special. For the so year. it's your budget, so it's your vote whether to do that or not. Is that something we need to make a decision on right now, or? Yeah. <laughs> when is the cutoff date for decisions like that on the budget? Uh, we're posting. I think we're going to vote next week to post it. We're going to vote next week to post it. What day? Monday. Monday. You have a week. Okay, we'll consider it. If you okay. want us to give you any more specifics on that, that was something we were talking about that came up at our last meeting, um, that we might want to have a bigger parade that day. Yeah. If you could get us some more specifics, that'd be great. Okay, Thank you. I, I don't know the numbers, but I, all I do know is, like, if you want to get a band, even a small band, you know, somebody that has to... Uh, I, I don't know, a, some, a fife and drum corps. The, people do not do that for, for nothing. They, they $1,000. Yeah. The Shriners come in with their cars. You know, you have to give them a donation. It goes to their, um, 
you know what I mean? Stuff like that. That's what looks, you know what I mean? Just more of a parade. Not, not like, we're not going to have like Mason's Day parade going down, but something to do with more bands. And, and, and again, I like the, in general, I like the idea of it, but, but we are still looking at an over 5% budget. So, I mean, is this something else we want to keep piling onto that 5% bucket? Well, it, yeah, kind of to piggyback on that too is, um, I mean, I totally trust your math. I mean, we worked together for a long time. So um, can we get Andy to recheck the math just one more time on <clears throat> what this translates into to a projected single family taxpayer increase? He had quoted us like 2%, I think. Uh, I don't know if that's still in that range. It was less than 2%. Okay, so here's here's the numbers I, I have so that, so that you know where we're, we're at. So uh, I... I went over these with Andy um, about 10, I would say about 10 days ago. And so he, his revenue projection, if we had a 2.5% increase, he had projected revenue of uh, 15, 531, 249. So 15 million, 15.5 million. At, I said, we don't want to do a 2.5% we don't want to go to two and a half, so I said what? Uh, so I, I simply s said let's let's ju go to a maximum of two, and a two percent increase uh, overall would would um, would be fifteen. Excuse me, fifteen million four hundred sixty-four thousand seven hundred forty-nine dollars. So fifteen. 4.6 million. Um, if we look at the the uh, proposed budget, and this is except for what we just discussed in terms of the the, the parade, um, the requested spending budget, including 300,000 for stabilization, uh, would be 14,987. Uh, so that's leaving um, approximately 987 is it's very close let's just call it 15 that's leaving 400 approximately 465 thousand uh, dollars about revenue over uh, raise and appropriate uh, the, on the budget spending that we've requested on on the budget in, including the stabilization transfer of the um items on the uh the warrant articles we have one article for that that's a raise and appropriate article for uh 315 so we are still below the uh 464,000 minus 315 we're still 100 uh 100 150,000 below uh, the projected revenue, even at a 2% increase. So, so I think in, if at that point we'd be, we'd be talking like a, uh, only like a 1.5% increase in the tax rate. So that's, that's, where, that's where I'm coming from. We're looking um, pretty good compared to past years in terms of uh, getting, stuff, um, getting stuff done w without having to... In, in, um, you know, raise taxes even up to 2%. I think we're going to be well under 2%. So that's just where I'm coming from. Yeah, I mean, that'd be great. I just asked to double check the math one more time before we go to press. Double, double check. Yeah, I, I don't disagree. Yeah, I think, he's, I think you're right. I mean, I don't see anything wrong. I'm just, can I make one comment about the articles? Because we're going to go into that now. Okay. I presume. Um, Hold on, do you have any more questions on that? And you want to think about the parade. Yep. Thank you. Um, I just want to make a comment that I feel a little uncomfortable adding and deleting warrant articles and changing wording this late in the game. And I'm referring to the changes we made last week. It's really not fair to the FinCom to make changes at the uh, 11th hour. So, and I only had an opportunity one time to review the uh, draft warrant. Um, a couple of weeks ago. So I think what I would suggest is next year we add um, 
onto the budget calendar a date to have the initial draft of the warrants ready and I'd propose March 1st as the initial draft so that we have more, better time to, to vet uh, the, uh, the warrant and we're not looking to make changes last minute. Just a suggestion. With ping pong. Yeah. I, I don't disagree. I mean, some of these were made to, to, uh, yeah, to correct. To, yeah, yes, I, we have to, to do sort this. of correct we, problems. Yes, right? yeah. we had to do that. Just I'm saying if we start earlier, then we can kind of end earlier. That's all. And then in concert with that, um, uh, I think we should discuss reviewing the uh, motion wording, and we're going to finalize this next week. So I'd like to see at least an initial draft of motions by, just to throw out a date, maybe April 6th. I don't know if that's too soon. Not a final draft, an initial draft. Comments? To discuss the motions, okay. What do you want to start with? Okay. Um, Any comments to that? Or? Well, but people, but the, you know, for example, if I, I'm just, say, picking them, the Conservation Com Commission can can make any motion on the floor that they want. I'm talking about the printed motions that we hand to them. Obviously, anybody can do that. Okay, I have we, we, we haven't really done that before. Well, we've always reviewed them. We've never said, let's start doing it by such and such date. I'm just trying to do it earlier so we don't fall into the same trap okay. as we did with the so warrants. Are you asking to do this this year, or are you asking to do it for next year? This year. The warrants next year, motions this year. You want to finalize them by the 6th, you said? No, I did not say that. What did you say? I said to look at initial draft of the motions. At what date? April 6th. We even have a meeting April 6th? No. Just they get emailed out. We have a meeting April 17th. So if they're distributed, just like a meeting agenda material, we have a chance to look at them um, and then meet on the 17th. So you want to 11 days before our meeting? Well, I'm throwing that out as a date. Oh, no, I'm just asking why. I'm just, I'm just trying to figure out, and the people that are going to be doing them, is that, are they going to get them why? done? So, why? So they get done sooner, and we're not looking at how motions are worded three days before an annual town meeting. That's why. Okay. Yeah, it, in, unless it's not going to make any problems for the people who are going to be writing them. I have no problem with it. Okay. Get them done tomorrow. Yeah, I mean, we know we Get know them done what, by our next meeting. We we know what the articles are. I mean, we didn't vote them yet, but I mean, you could start working on what the motion wording is tomorrow. You're right. I mean, why yeah. Can't, why can't we have them ready by the second? We could. I, I think mean, that's, they're all done, right? Yeah. Yeah. Well, yeah. yeah. I let's we'll let's, we'll let's do it next. The, we'll do it at the next meeting. Let's yeah. Shoot for the second. Yeah. And if we don't get them done, the deadline is April sixth. Yeah. Do you care? I mean, do you have anything? No, I don't care. I'm just trying to get it done early, that's all. Who's in charge of it? Well, just like the warrants. I mean, Mary drafts them and we look at them. So you have any problem with getting them done by next Monday? Would you rather the 6th? By next week or by the sixth? I wasn't sure. We should have most of them done. Okay, good. Okay. Put them on the agenda, please. Annual? Okay, annual town meeting. Um, Do you want to go through each one or you, you want to ask the questions? Well, we have to go through each. We have to vote them. So we have to. Yeah. Have you guys voted most of them? Yeah, we voted on all, all, all of them. All of them? Well, there's several of the changes. Which do you want to vote? The ones that were just, uh, the one that was said at the... Let's get this going. Okay. And the printers, the printers. Okay, so you want to already got these done. So Article, Article 3 is, is to, um, Article 1 is, is the town election. Article 2 is about town reports. Article 3 is determine what sums of 
of money the town will raise and appropriate for defraying the expenses of the town for the ensuing fiscal year and for the payment of town debt. That's can the I, omnibus budget. Mr. Chairman, can I go back to Article 2? Can we ask Mary if she could send out to everybody um, if any towns or committees or something is going to have any reports that they have to, you know, tell Mary so then she can tell the moderator so there can be some type of organization right. thing that night? Uh, and that, and not at the very, very last second. That's th that sometimes happens, and that's not fair either. No, but yeah. Then, well, we want them in by April sixth. Yeah. <laughs> no. Um, town meeting's the thirtieth. So if twentieth. All they have to do is say yes. Yeah. I'm going to give a report, or yes, I'm not. Yeah. 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 So if we could have it in by the April twentieth, if you're going to well, give no, a report or not. You need to use the microphone. Sorry. Removing expenses for the town manager. Um, is that an article or is it a budget? Article, because it's a one time. Originally, Andy had put it in the budget, but it's not an ongoing expense. It's a one time expense. That's why we moved it back to an article. And we were a little quick to pull the trigger on a sunset clause that because the money expires on June 30th. He's not moving. I mean, that's gonna, those expenses are going to hit next year. OK, we didn't vote on that. OK. Well. That's a pretty simple one. Casey? With respect to who would be the wish to make a report to town meeting, it's also helpful if they would say if they wish to make a report under Article 1 or if they wish to make a report before the end of Article 1. Okay. That when it pertains. Sometimes they want to make it under Article 1, sometimes. Article 2, yeah. Article two. yeah. yeah. Pertinent, yeah. Sure. Okay. If they could specify that, it's helpful to people to. So, who wants to do it and when? Yep. Okay. Four. Four. Okay, so do we want to vote on the budget? We, yeah, we usually get the recommendation of. Oh, the vote on the budget? Yes. Yeah, sure. I move to approve the omnibus budget. Second. Discussion? Uh, I, I would uh, just like to say that, that I, I hope we can consider the increase in the, in the parade. That, but otherwise, I'm good with the whole thing. Good. All in favor? Aye. 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 Article 4, Finance Committee recommendation. I move to approve Article 4. Yes. Mm -hmm. Second. All in favor? Aye. 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 Five. That, that's a direction. Six. Yeah. Article 6, to see if the town will vote to raise an appropriate or transfer from available funds the sum of 50000 for the Pension Liability Stabilization Fund. And we would assume the money would be coming from, the, uh, f from free cash. Yes, that's free cash. And let's just to back up. I mean, I think the finance committee wants to chart where the money's coming from. So, Article Four is water enterprise. So back to Article Six. Finance uh, committee was uh, unanimous in support of Article Six. Six zero five zero. Six zero. Six zero. I move to approve Article Six. Free cash. Free cash. Second. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Article 7, to see if the town will vote to transfer the sum of 22897 and 9 cents from the septic loan revolving account for the repayment of debt service. 22827 and 9 cents. Finance committee recommendation. Finance committee was unanimous in support 6 0. I, I move to approve Article 7. Second. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Funding source? It's a transfer from the septic loan revolving account. Yeah. That was just, goes back to Title 5. And yep. Uh, 
Article 8, to see if the town will vote to transfer from available funds the sum of $102,900 to pay debt service associated with the Dunn property. Finance Committee was unanimous in support, 6-0. I move to approve Article 8. All in favor? Aye. Um, discussion a little bit on that? Yep. How many more payments do we have on that? Anybody know? Except for a little bit at the end, yeah. Thank you. That's coming from the second. We haven't voted on it. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Nine. That's coming from that grant. No, that's coming from the grant. That's coming from the grant. It's it's sitting in a. We can't pay it off. It's just sitting. It the grant money is just it's sitting, sitting in, in a fund. Article 9, to see if the vote, town will vote to raise and appropriate the sum of 315000 to be placed in a special purpose municipal stabilization fund uh, established pursuant to Mass General Law, so and so, in order to fund future capital expenditures for school related building projects. Finance Committee was unanimous in support 6 0 of Article 9. I move to approve Article 9. Uh, second, and it's coming from raise and appropriate. Right. Correct. The article is written that way. I know, but I'm just. Yeah, no, I'm just, I'm trying, just trying to be consistent. Pointing out for that. Yeah. Article 10. You have to vote on. Oh, we did, didn't we? Aye. 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 Yeah, oh, I, okay. Article 10, to see if the town will vote to raise and appropriate or, and or transfer from available funds the sum of 140000 to fund to add to the special fund established in accordance with the provisions of Mass General Law, Chapter 44, Section 5. 53i for a celebration of West Newbury's bicentennial in 2019. The Finance Committee was not in support of Article 10. The vote was two in favor, three opposed, one abstention. Um, I just want to clarify. Go ahead, go ahead. Did you have a comment you wanted to make, Gary? Uh, I can explain a little if you'd like. I mean, I we obviously support the notion behind this article, um, but. Several of the people involved in this committee have experience in food service and were concerned with the cost. Um, other members were concerned about the overall cost of the, the article, you know, in a year where we have a school which is desperate in need of repairs and one that's proposed to be replaced. So, you know, we certainly love being here and wish to celebrate it. It's just a lot of money. And I just want to clarify my position. I don't know if it was ambiguous at the last meeting. So. It's the same as what I had previously said, that totally in favor of a town bicentennial celebration. However, not in, same thing that you just said, not in favor of spending 140000 of taxpayer dollars. But this is a decision town meeting will make. So is this the discussion portion of it? Yep. We, okay. Well, we, well we haven't made a motion. Kind of we a, haven't made a motion. Okay. Yeah. Okay. So I want to discuss. So I move to I move uh, to approve Article Ten. Second. Okay. Discussion. Discussion. Well, for right. those re I understand those reasons, but it's hard to say I'm completely in favor of it, but I'm not willing to spend one hundred forty thousand dollars on it. I'm in favor I, of a I, celebration. Well, everybody's in favor of the celebration, and I always keep on saying, okay. So by supporting a celebration, are you being in a favor of celebration? So you're not. I'm sorry. You're not, a, you're not in favor of $140,000, and I've asked on multiple occasions, well, what will you be in favor of? And nobody's done their homework and said, well, you know, if we did this and we only spent this, then I'd be in favor of that. So we're kind of not giving anybody any direction. So we, it's easy to say I'm in favor of a celebration, so what type of celebration are you looking, are you in favor of? It might help this committee or help the town. Well, we really don't have the ability to adjust the amounts on articles. You so can, we. And you can bring them down. You, don't, you can't bring them up. You could make a motion on the floor. Yep, you? you can bring them down. You can't bring them up. Yes, you do. 
So um, I don't know. It just seems like a cop out to me when people say, I'm all for a celebration, but I'm not going to support $140,000. And a, I've asked you're, you're multiple at, times, what will you support? You're asking a question that can't be answered. You, it, you'd have to have, uh, just like Casey did, I, I like what you laid out. You, you did a very nice job of laying out what the different events are and what the costs. So if we had more pay for you go, pay, you know, the, the people that are attending pay the, uh, more of the cost of it versus all the taxpayers. Uh, and what that number would be, I don't know. You'd have to cost it out just like she did. So well, but, somebody, but, but, somebody but that's, true. We, that's true of everything. We, we, that's an argument that doesn't work with the town because some people don't take advantage of schools. Some people don't take advantage of the library. You know my thing, I don't like the library buying movie tickets and museum passes, but they, they, they do it. And, and it, there's just lot, lots of things that the town pays for everybody can't take advantage doesn't take advantage of. That's fine. You guys have total right to have a different opinion. No, 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 no. But so then if they say, well, we need $140,000 to run this event, okay, and we'll, be, we'll charge for things to offset them. You, but, want, a, you want a number? 25. No, no, but I'm asking you, no, no, to, to your 25,000? Yeah. Okay, that's fine. Thank you. But no, I'm asking you, well, to do what we want to do, it's going to cost $140,000. And we will charge to try to we'll offset that, but we need the money just in case nobody shows up. So would that be a good plan for you, that we'll offset the money by charging tickets, and, but we still need the 140 and whatever we don't spend to offset the tickets, we'll what would zero be, off the free what cash. Would, what would be the plan to offset how much of the 140 I guess? Um, yeah, no, that's a good question, too. Um, I mean, if it's 115, that would plus 25 equals 140. Okay, so you don't want a real celebration for $25,000. No. So you really can't do anything. You can't. No. I mean, no. it's That's, a town. Look, look we're, people, we, I think we know how we're going to vote, so just not throw No, stones. I just want to try to get the direction. I'm trying to, okay, we'll, we'll, we'll have it up. We're going to have it up. Uh, see, I, see I totally. I'm to do it now so we don't have to do it on town meeting. Floor. I totally, the, we. I think the, the residents are going to do that. Well, they well, can do I that. Hope so. The 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 um, committee was charged with coming up with with a plan. I think they came up with some excellent ideas, but I I think that the voters have a right to to say, hey, that's a great idea, or or throw water on the fireworks. Right. It's up to it's up to them. But I think can we vote? Uh, yeah, okay. let's vote. Okay. All in favor? Aye. Aye. No. And that would be from free cash? Correct. If it passes. Article 11. To see if the town will vote on the limit on the total amount that may be expended from each revolving fund established pursuant, pursuant to section XL of the bylaws of the town of West Newbury, uh, summer recreation re revolving fund forty two thousand, GAR library fines and penalties revolving fund ten thousand, police vehicle revolving fund twenty thousand. Finance committee is unanimous in support of Article eleven. Six zero. Five zero. I move to approve Article eleven. Second. A discussion. All in favor? Yes. Oh, sorry. In other words, they can They the this is the upper limit of what can be spent okay, so out of the Mike? This wording is basically it, 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 it is the statute, which is what about the statute. But we can't change it. Well, you can change it. I mean, you can, you can definitely change it. But the reason that it is written that way is that it, 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 it basically proposes the statute. The statute. Okay. So
So, Casey, are you okay with the way the statute's written? No. no. Okay. My concern is that people at the town meeting understand what it is they're being asked to vote. I think I think the action the verb. Is no, I, I I like place a limit makes more sense. Yeah, me yeah. too. Mike, do you see any issue with that? I I don't. I mean, okay. So let's change it to place, place a limit. limit. Perfect. Some, where is the money coming from? Summer uh, recreation revolving fund. How's that being funded by um, user fees? Correct. Um, well, wait, wait, wait. Think about it. Is if you say place a limit, have you appropriated the money? Let's just keep it the way it says, and if anybody has any questions, actually. You could simply say to see if the town will vote to two, limit two the limit. total amount that may be expended. The limit rather than two. Two limit. Two limit. Two limit. So replace the words on and the with two. Oh, two. Okay. Okay. Excellent. So the forty-two thousand dollars is coming from um, user fees. I take it. Yeah. And then what about library fines and penalties revolving fund? But I thought they. I didn't. That's the reason I. Questioned it. I, I didn't think they charged anything. I don't. I, I didn't. They don't charge fines. If if you, I think if you lose the book, if you lose the book. Oh, okay, that. Okay, not the fine. Okay, and then the twenty is coming from the chief setup for the of the address. Okay, thank you. So Article Twelve, I think, was added at based on something that I had said, and Can it's. Can we vote on this? It's what? Can we vote on this bill? Twelve. No, well, I was. 11. Oh, eleven. I'm sorry. I apologize. Make a motion. You made the motion to uh, on eleven. I second it. All in favor? Aye. Aye. I was going to suggest to remove Article Twelve because it's in the omnibus, omnibus budget and it's going to be all raised and appropriate. So, Article okay. is not necessary. So th that's a good question too because I had that question. And I, I well, the, the, the idea thing. was it that has to be two thirds vote. If no, some, if it used to be, it changed. If somebody to go in but to take it out. Got it. Okay. Yeah. If no, but if somebody. Did not want to have it raise and appropriate, and they wanted to have it yeah, fr fr from free cash. Yeah, but that's our. That's our. I I vote. I um, move. Second. I move to remove Article Twelve. Second. All in favor? Aye. I Aye. let remove Article Twelve. Yeah, it's in the omnibus budget, so you don't need it here. Just have one other. Just a. If we're going to go over just kind of the wording of the articles, just nine and ten. Um, one says like MGL, other one spells it out Massachusetts General Law. Maybe if we could just make the the sign tax the same, just so it's just it's not a big deal, but it's just that, a, no. It, you're right. People understand it, but that's it. There's we do just make, make it consistent make it no matter what we do. So yes. same Massachusetts General Law. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So for nine and ten, like I said, just make sure one matches the other. Okay. Okay. Thirteen. To see if the town will raise an appropriate and or transfer from available funds a sum of 100000 to fund improvements and repairs to the Page School, Children's Castle, and town buildings. Finance Committee recommends approval with a split vote of 5 to 1 five on one Article zero. 13. Okay. I move to approve Article 13. Uh, uh, this, uh, no, it's, uh, it's coming from stabilization. Is that where we want it to come from? Uh, yes. It's on. Is it on the schedule? Yes, it was. It was voted by the CIC. I have oh, yes, it was. That. Yep, yep, yep. Mr. McCarran. I won. Is, it, is there a problem? What? Is it Oh yeah. To paint. That's true. He's right. Okay. Yes, sir. Gary. Uh, yeah, we also sunsetted that at the end of fiscal year 2019, and with without specified usage of the funds, I was the dissenting vote. Um, he can do whatever he chooses. True. Which, yep. Which is the problem? Before, which cutting down trees to speaking, fixing leaks, uh, fixing some of the stuff with the water leaks, uh, fixing uh, uh, 
using the money to engineer new switches for the generator. It's which, which was a three-year, it, it's not like it wasn't just, that it wasn't, year. it was used judiciously in the past, yes. So, so he can do that, but he can't in the sense that we signed the warrants. So we found that uh, things weren't getting done up there. To give you a little history on the article, it's because it's an old building and because we have the income coming in from the Children's Council that we thought that to be able to stay on top of things, there should be a pool of money for him to make some um, emergency repairs and do some things up there. But he still has to get the okay to use that from us. Well, I mean, $100,000 is a pretty solid pool of money to not have to specifically No, designate. I understand. We agree. We, we agree, but, 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 but this, this is replacing an article that was actually three years old. It's not annual, it's, it's three years old, yeah. it's finally, it's still not decreased yet, but when you say, I agree with you, but there is a big, so what number, what, see, okay, what I'm trying to say is, we could just put that, you're doing this, you're voting on the same thing in his expenses, because he's not sure about those expenses and anybody's expenses. You kind of know what they are, but things could pop up, especially in the DPW one. When posed a question in the course of a committee meeting, would any of you allocate $100,000 to any other department head in the community without a specific list of where it was going? The answer was overwhelmingly, no way. Everyone who receives public funds should specifically designate where the funds should be spent, in my opinion. Okay, I agree with that. And they are being designated as expenses to the paid school. So I, I disagree, we, for example, no, for example, we, we voted on using the, the money from a similar article to, to fund the engineering for the switches. for the switches in the generators. I'm not saying the money was irresponsibly sent, Spencer. No, All but, but he, but we were. Public funds should be specifically designated to specific items. Okay, but hold on, hold on. I got that, but how do you justify everybody else's expense line? That's what I'm. That, that's the. That's where I'm. In the, terms of in terms of what I mean, which like, specific like the DPW expense line, the for, police for expense what, line, which the, they give line item budgets for their expenses. Where's know, so Where's the, their hundred thousand dollar undesignated fund in the police budget, sir? No, but I'm, I'm not picking on the. I'm just. It doesn't matter what. Okay, so oh, it's the amount that's bothering. That's that's a portion of my issue, yeah. Okay, okay, okay. okay, okay. <laughs> I didn't know if it was a concept or the amount. Well, I mean, I I know the director. He's a super guy. I don't think he's you know he does good work. I don't think he's dishonest by any mean. But I I think it's reckless to allocate public funds in that manner. So in the finance department, you have thirty six thousand dollars of expenses. In the board of assessors, you yeah, have thirty eight thousand. Fine. I th I think what he's saying is when he got the budget from those departments, thirty six thousand. It. Identified. It showed the expenses. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Casey? So, town meeting does not vote on those itemized budgets. Town meeting votes on to appropriate, the, but, to appropriate but we do. Money. And <laughs> it would be very, very unwise to start to ask departments to put itemized budgets into the mm -hmm. warrant for town meeting. It would, it would be. I, I agree, but I don't think that's what he's saying. No, no, I, I understand what he's saying now. No, I, no, I can appreciate that. Perhaps it's another consideration. You know, Say that again? Perhaps, you know, most articles typically have a specific, well-defined purpose. We're buying a generator. So it's just, it, it is a very unique type of article where it's not for anything in particular, but just for many lots of little things. So perhaps that's also another distinction where you say, is this actually an article type item or is this a different entity? Well, it, it, it um, in it a sense, it, but Glenn mentioned it, it historically was a little bit different because the, the, because the children's castle does generate its own, it is bringing in revenue. Uh, we want, it, it didn't work that to have a revolving account where the, where the rent money from children's castle was then automatically, it had, to, it had to come into the general fund. So, so that's, so, so it, it sort of loses its designation at that point. And that m money from the Children's Castle far exceeds the hundred thousand dollars that we receive. So just to give you a little, I'm not trying, I'm not trying to sway you one way or another. I mean, but I just want to give you a little history behind it. Because that's that's you, partly point, where it came from. Your point is is very well taken, and I think when you can say something like that, just 
blanketly, hey, would you ever do that? I would say no to you too. But we had, I don't know how many years ago, it had to have been at least three, four years ago, Gary came in and said, because we have said, you know, how come that, that isn't being done? Well, it was unforeseen. He, and then this, why isn't that being done in the case? We said, we better manage this because we have, it's an older building. To get things done during the course of the time, I needed just a designated expense line that I would come to you guys and you would have to vote on it every time I took something out of there. And it would be a better way to try to manage that building because I have so many unforeseen things happening at that one particular building because of the use. So that's why we set it up that way. And I would agree if it was just like, we, no, we wouldn't do that. But he was fighting for that for a while So because we were kind of like, hey, what the heck's going on up there? He's going, well, I don't have the funds. You're going to have to wait until the fall. I have to offset that. It's only going to get worse. So we kind of said, okay, let's do this. But we look after it, and he has to. He just doesn't spend it. He comes to us like he did with the generator, engineering, and so forth and so on, and we and we approve it. So you're right in some respects, but we were trying to fix a problem and not actually save money for the town, so we have some available funds ready for him to fix some problems that were unforeseen. And that is that number arbitrarily? Yeah, that could number could be fifty thousand because we haven't used that. It's been three years. And we kind of based it, like Archie said, on the revenue we were getting in from the um, children's cast. So the, no, but let's go back to the, the other item, uh, Mike's point about. That's what I was just going to say. So do you agree with Mr. McCarran's comment? I do. About? I can get it. Some, some of the our items on, that he spends it on are not capital items. So it really kind of has to be free cash. Okay, okay, yeah, so that's a whole different subject. Though. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Well, that's what he said. Yeah. Yeah, yeah I would agree with you. have to if you're going to. Okay. Yeah. So why don't we, can, can you do a split funding? 50% from free cash, 50% from um, stabilization? Kind of complicating it, but yes, you can. 50% of the things will be, you know, it does complicate matters, but. Yeah. Mm, yeah. I keep it all free cash. Would you I like to see a three-year revolving amount? How much you spent out of that thing? So give you a good understanding of how much money's coming I, I, out. Of I think it? they're going to ask him for that. Yeah, that's a good. That's a, just a I feeling. Would. I would. <laughs> that ain't a bad question. No. So. Okay. So. Um, okay. Well, who's going to make the motion? You. Make a motion to approve Article 13. Are you going to second or no? I was going to abstain, so you can second it. Second. Gary actually changed my mind, so I'm going to go ahead and call a vote. All in favor? Hold on. Why are you abstaining? Am I missing Well, something? versus voting no. I mean, I could vote no, too. I mean, I think he's right. OK. I think he is partially right also, but maybe we should have told the department head that, okay, ahead of time. And not, and not hold just, on, hold on, hold on, and not set up this article to fail and then have a major problem with paid school that we won't be able to then address because we won't have the funds for it. Yeah, I don't want to, I don't want to. You know what I mean by that? Because I, we should have told him that and he would have done I'm, it, but we didn't just, ask him. I'm going to call, I'm going to call he a special meeting the ago. day before Labor Day that you have to come, Joe. Me? Yeah. I come here all the time anyway. Mm -hmm. Just, just because two day. people voted no doesn't mean it won't pass. No, I understand, but I'm a person that likes to, it, he writes no, or substantial, I want to make sure I understand why he did it, so maybe it's a, it, it's it could a, sway me too. I just want to make sure I didn't miss it. It's, it's a flag to the voters. Anytime there's a no vote by either committee, they kind of look. Everyone this. wants who voted no, what, right. for well, what I, reason. So and yeah. I'm going to vote yes, and, but could you make sure that Gary because I think this is an important article, um, and this water break and things that happen at the paid school is a good example of that. Because if we didn't have that funds, the school would not be open for the children on the ninth. Well, we'd have to appropriate the money in a different way, I think. Whatever. So I'm going to um, just make sure and put in your book that with, like uh, he needs. It might help for him to get a list of what he spent it on and what he plans on spending it on. 
to help pass this article. That's all I'm saying. And then if you could put in your book that Joe voted no, he doesn't like um, kids. <laughs> And he's gonna he's gonna he's gonna sit there by himself and eat hot dogs on the bicentennial day. Yeah, or or, or bicentennial thing. Or bicentennial. He doesn't. He doesn't want kids. He doesn't like kids to be educated or having fun at bicentennial parties. And, and Glenn, just to cor just to correct you, I said I was gonna abstain. Yeah. Well, okay. you said it better than voting no. Okay. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Abstain. Come on, Adam. <laughs> It's a good point, but we didn't ask him to do it. That's now I feel guilty. You're right. We should have, but I'm not sure. If we but but we but we did it before. So, yeah, we had similar deliberations amongst ourselves. We had some questions about the way it was funded, but we also felt like it's just difficult when they come in and that you get a general positive. Yeah, the article sounds okay, and they leave, and you vote it down. That just seems like a. Mm -hmm. It's just. Uh, Difficulty, oh, and and the the historical part of it was the 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 income there was going to be a fund that he money came, it was sort of like you know on a, a the, the 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 children's castle does uh, create some revenue that used to go to the this that didn't used to go to the town and now is going to the town but but we have to maintain the facility so that was where that the, the idea of this came from. Okay, Next. Article 14, free cash. Free, free cash. So it's not 50-50? No. no. Free cash. Nobody likes my idea. Uh, too complicated. Um, this... Article 14 would be just a, a to break out of the stuff? To put the estimated revenues in the different parts of the community preservation uh, committee accounts of uh, Three thirty-nine thousand nine hundred ninety-eight dollars in the community housing reserve, uh, same amount in the historic resources resources reserve, uh, same amount in open space and recreation reserve, uh, nineteen thousand nine hundred ninety-nine in administrative expenses, and the uh, estimated re budgeted reserve of two hundred fifty-nine thousand nine hundred eighty-seven dollars. Finance committee. The yes. Yeah. Finance Committee unanimously supports Article 14.60. I move to approve Sorry. Article 14. Discussion, all in favor? Aye. Aye. Um, Mary, as the chairperson of the uh, Community Preservation Committee, we wish to make a very brief report right before this article, probably two to three sentences. Is it accurate for the funding we have source? Slides. What? The funding source comes from the um, the slides. The, no. the state the, I'm not the, the matching oh. um, it comes from raising appropriate and it comes from the state matching, right? So I, I wasn't sure if it's, is it a three percent surcharge on real estate bills? Is that an accurate way of describing it? It's from the community preservation on annual revenue. I would just okay. say that. So and, and, and that and, and that revenue is on your taxes in town from raising appropriate and, and from the state. The state contribution that, fluctuates. Yeah, through that um, thing they do on the, the dedicated money they put on um, fees, I think. What, I was just trying to find transfer the Transfer I was just trying to find the most clear way to, like, if you were sitting in that they audience, all, to understand all, where it comes from. They all know about it, and I would just do the community preservation fund annual revenue. We've not spent much time in it. They've seen this every single year, and it's just going to go. This isn't even the actual numbers. This is just the estimated numbers. Okay. Yeah. Can we get those later on? Fifteen. To see if the town will raise an appropriate and transfer from available funds the sum of thirty-one thousand to fund a utility pole transfer and maintenance for the existing municipal fire alarm service. Finance committee unanimously supports Article fifteen five zero with the sunset date of the end of fiscal year twenty twenty. Well. Yeah, when you say sunsets, that would be in the motion. Well, that's why she's can you, that. can you um, tell me what a utility pole transfer maintenance is? Okay, so the the um, uh, you, all the double poles on Main Street they've they've moved a lot of the the uh, electrical ones, but these are the 
the town actually has some wires that are dedicated for uh, for the fire alarm and and and, and so those have to be moved oh It's awkward. The, the, the it's utility poles, the utility poles that you see over there, right? Yeah. They've been changing them in town. If you've noticed, they're making. They're making I don't them think higher. that's what she's saying. I understand. I'm what's telling you. Happening. I see it all along. Mm -hmm. The four words: utility pole transfer maintenance. They are. Do not it? particularly express the ideas that you're trying to get across right now. There, 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 there's work that has to be done on the utility poles, and, that and, to and, they're, and they're transferring some services from one utility pole to another utility pole. Correct. Okay. But I'm talking about do people understand what they're voting for? Okay. If you say to fund a utility pole transfer maintenance, it's not clear what that means. Is it a utility pole transfer? That would make sense. They have why are maintenance? Would, you, would that be better? What does maintenance do for this phrase? What does the word maintenance do? Not a lot. Phrase? No, you're right. <laughs> That's not the same thing I read. Okay, let's take it's the not clear phrase. what this means. So take the word maintenance. Okay. Out. That's what you're saying. Yeah. I, I, I move to approve yeah. Article 15 with the word maintenance removed. Second. Discussion? All in favor? Yeah. It's stabilization. stabilization. Yes. Okay. Aye. Article 16. Aye. We, we did it. Oh, okay. Article 16. To see if the town will vo raise an appropriate transfer from available funds, the sum of 17500 to found the town share of the cost of the replacement of the 1984 tanker truck in connection with a 2017 FEMA assistance to firefighters grant. Finance Committee unanimously supports Article 16 with a vote of 5-0, sunset date, end of fiscal year 2022. I move to approve Article 16. Second for discussion. So if they don't get the grant, they don't no matter what happens. They're going to, uh, I asked uh, Mike that, Glenn, and if they don't get the grant, they're going up to bat again next year. It's going to change the wording and, and, and retry. So that money, does, the money comes back, or does he have to have a new article? Well, That's my point. Well, How many we, times is the money? if we do a sunset clause. 2022 or, is still a long way out. Right. Yeah. Why they yeah. That. Okay, thank you. I just wanted to make sure. All in favor? Aye. Aye. What's the cost? Free, free cash. cash. Free cash. Article 17. To see if the town will raise an appropriate and transfer from available funds the sum of 115000 to fund the purchase of firefighting personal protective gear. The Finance Committee is unanimous in support of Article Number 17, sunset date, end of fiscal year 2019. Vote. Make motion to approve. What, 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 what's their vote? They said they said. He said five zero. Five, five, five zero. zero in the beginning. He did not say five. I move to approve Article se Seventeen. Second in stabilization. Yes. All in favor? Aye. 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 So, Mary, that was stabilization. That one, okay. Uh, Article eighteen to see if the town will vote to raise an appropriate and or transfer from available funds the sum of. Five thousand for the town manager's expenses. Um, Are you guys prepared to vote for that now? We're prepared to vote on it as well. Discussion. All in favor? Great. Fin I Finance Committee to. unanimously supports uh, Article eighteen four zero. Great. I move to approve Article eighteen. Second. Funding sources free. This, my, uh, my discussion is: Do we want to have this on the annual town meeting in case? Uh, he wants to have uh, well, we his have, expenses paid before. We have, we have it, if he does that, it would come out of 150000 so we're covered for this year. So we can leave it where it is. Okay. Okay. So you voted that one real quick, so 
get on the good graces when you come in, but that you don't want to have to do Memorial Day parade. Okay. All, all in favor? Aye. Aye. Free cap. Article 19, to see if the town will raise an appropriate and transfer from available funds the sum of $2,500 to fund new chairs for the senior center. I'm going to invite the finance committee over to, to my that. house, and we're all going to have chicken when you're at this parade. Okay. I want to see you vote this down. New chairs for the elders. Come on. Vote down on the don't, 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 don't make it a contest, Mr. Selectman. <laughs> finance committee is un unanimous in support of Article 19. With a vote of five to zero, sunset date, fiscal year 2019. I move to approve Article 19. Second. Recast? All, yes. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Article 20. Bylaw. To see if the town will vote to amend the bylaws by deleting section seven, the finance director bylaw, in its entirety and by changing the reference to finance director, director in sections. Four, capital improvements committee bylaw. Eight, finances. 36, community preservation committee bylaw. Two, town manager. Recommendation this is, this is of the finance committee. Yeah. Number 20. Finance committee is unanimous in support of Article 20. The vote was six to zero. I move to approve Article 20. Second. All in favor? Aye. Article 21, to see if the town will vote to amend the zoning map of the town of West Newbury to include within the large scale mounted, ground mounted solar voltaic installation, LG SPI overlay district, approximately 20 acres of land located at 28 Coffin Street and identified as proposed LG SPI overlay district on the attached plan by request of the land owner, John Bosher. Finance Committee considered Article Number 21 and Article 22 together because of their connection, and in a split vote were opposed to passage of both articles. Zero four, four against, and two abstentions. So zero four two on 21, or same vote on both of them? Yes, sir. And the reason? Uh, well, there were numerous reasons, one of which was the uh, project would add a rather large capital improvement on the property, um, but the town wouldn't receive any tax revenue as a result of that, and their negotiation for a pilot would be f far inferior to what they'd receive if somebody built, say, a residence of the same value on the property. Mr. McCarran. Microphone. Well, the pilot negotiation is a payment in lieu of taxes. Right. But I mean, that's what it's done in lieu of taxes, being that you basically agree to a price that would be equivalent to what they would have had to have paid as personal property tax. Well, the town's revenue would also be based on their ability to generate electricity, which is not guaranteed. And they wouldn't be able to operate at maximum capacity, you know, forever. And it'd only be a limit of 20 years. So those were the reasons. Those were the reasons that we voted. Well, it says a pilot that there is no tax. No, 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 no. That's the whole point. Pay the real tax. Basically, instead of instead of having to fight every year for the value. It's based on kilowatt kilowatt generated. But not yet negotiated. See, what they did, it, they'd be taxed on the 20 acres and not the other. Well, they would be taxed on all. No, but they plan on the Okay. So, but whatever. But see, this is what they set up with the state because it wouldn't be, it wouldn't be uh, feasible. So if you have a corporation, like I get taxes for my stoves and my ovens, you know, inside my building even from the town. So this is this thing with the little taxes so you don't have to negotiate because it, supposedly because of the technology, those solar panels are going to start losing, uh, depreciating so much over years that it, it, it wouldn't work. So We'd have to reassess them every year, which would be complicated, yeah, basically. So, yeah. So they're trying to make it, but I, I understand the point. But, but the thing is, is that, is that if, they, if, they, if the town really reaches an amicable agreement on the pilot, then 
then you still be assessed personal property taxes, and there are different ways of assessing. You can do the income capitalization formula. You can use the inflation cost formula. I mean, the problem for a small town like us is that we these uh, years we get very complicated. Very what? Closer. Approximation to. It. See my point? So I mean, the idea is is that you'd get at least as much taxes as you would without the pilot. I mean, that that's kind of the goal. You know that's what I mean? not guaranteed. Well, so we, we'd and, want and to. You might get more. You might get more than you would have gotten it, and then and the the is that the parties would be willing to do it for the certainty. Of it. Additionally, it would lend to a decrease in the value of the surrounding properties, which would also decrease revenue from the town. They could apply for abatements as a result of the decrease in value of their homes. I'm not a, you can't say they couldn't. They could, but the thing is, is it would not, never decrease the value of, uh, uh, of the revenues of the town. If someone's value goes down, Somebody else the, the that would go to another taxpayer then. Yeah, so same. somebody else on, on the other side of town has to get it. So if all the everyone's value went down, <laughs> the tax rate will go up. So yeah. you don't no one would, the town wouldn't lose any revenue. No, but some other poor person would have to gain that tax. Well okay, we got your point. Okay. Make a motion to do why don't we just do it? Uh, article twenty one and twenty two. Sure, move to approve. Second. All in favor? Aye. <laughs> no. No. Um, I'm voting no for, and I'm voting no on all of these articles because um, What's all, of them all of the the forthcoming, all the zoning ones for. No, uh, all, no let me finish. I, I, I have the floor. The my reason is is that I don't think we should be uh, voting on. Uh, plan, uh, by, uh, zoning bylaws like this by um, by the owner or by petition or by anything. We, that's what we have a planning board for. They vetted the solar field uh, by law for a very long time. It was voted on at town meeting, and now we're we're trying to change that in by by the landowner and by other people opposed to these people. So we're, 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 we're changing our whole process of that we have a very long, well thought out, vetted process to do zoning bylaws, and now we're trying to supersede that. So that's, that's, so, so that's why I'm against it. So, okay, in, in that line, I was gonna say for the other ones, will of the town, but I mean, maybe 21 and 22 should also be Will of the town. I would be will of the town on the last three. Okay, so we made a motion. We seconded on twenty-one and twenty-two. Can we say no, no, and get rid of those? Yeah. Do what? Let's just get rid of that. You voted yes. We, no, no, and that was it. And then you went on that. So now let's get on to twenty-two, twenty-three. So it, twenty-one and twenty-two were voted. I think the moderator has a question. Yep. I, I'm anticipating. That there might be a problem with the motions on these since they're not made by people that are um, familiar with exactly what you were talking about. Has anyone talked to these people about who will make the motion and how a motion is properly made and etc.? Well, they they're entitled to make a a bad motion. The, the and I'm entitled to rule it out of order. Exactly. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> yes and yes. And yes. Given, and we've given them all. Um, I think we've all given them some advice that they might want to talk to Mike McCarran beforehand. I think mm -hmm. each and every one of them came before us. We said that, and I think Mike helped them on even getting it to this far. So we've we did them, warn them. We've given we, them the okay, yeah. So they and think if, that's fine. And, and I and I just have a I just have a comment about Will of the Town. Um, it, this is I, I've had the same comment now for years. Um, essentially, when we go to town meeting, everything we do is Will of the Town. And mm -hmm. so when you say Will of the Town. Um, it makes it sound as if there's something different about that particular Well, there is. There's citizen, there citizen's petitions. Well, there, yes. There petition articles. Well, yes, but you could say will of the town on any article on this 
warrant, that's exactly what it is. The town's going to vote on it, and regardless of what your recommendation was or the finance committee's recommendation or whatever, whatever the town votes on is, is what, what happens. So I, I think will of the town is a little bit disingenuous. Uh, it, it really is a, a way of not saying, I don't want to express an opinion on this. Okay. 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 Just an easy way out. Okay. <laughs> Article. Um, So, th so those were one, two, one, two for both of us. Okay. One, two, and two. Yep. Okay. Twenty-three and twenty-four. Uh, finance committee. Finance committee. Oh, I should I, I should read this for the the. the she, has, no, she has it right in front of you. You don't have to read it. Okay. Right. Jen. I, but just in terms of people listening, oh, but. Okay. okay. Um, uh, 23, uh, to amend the town of West Newbury zoning bylaw by, by inserting as a new section 5G, 5C, all large scale ground mounted solar voltaic installations located in residence A, B, or C districts shall not exceed a nameplate capacity of 500 kilowatts by petition. And it's currently at 250, right? There's no limit. I thought there was, okay. In opposition to Article 23, with a split vote of one in favor, five opposed. Whose petition article is that? Which one? 23. The citizen, the citizen petition. Yeah, who is the citizen? What? Who is the citizen? Who wrote the hearing prepared. Okay, that's what I wanted. Thank you. Make a motion to approve. I'm not voting in favor of it, so I'm not. No. So you don't even want to make, you don't even want to vote on it? No, I want to, vo I want to vote against it. Okay, but I'm going to make, make a motion okay. to approve. I need it, to be then we'll vote. Yes, fine. So second, yeah, vote. To, yeah, okay, to, okay. That's fine. So motion to approve. It's been seconded. Um, first of all, I'm going to vote no on this also. For, I, I think, Archie made up a great point of something that's well vetted and stuff and needs a reactionary type of thing. But I wouldn't want to put a limit on an industry that's changing every day. I mean, um, we, we do this and we could have one panel that could put out this in the next three years. I don't know. Technology changes every day, so I wouldn't put a limit on anything. Because I, we don't know what tomorrow's going to bring. So that's a, another thing. So that's the reason why I'm going to. The sun it. might get brighter. Yeah. So, no. No. Okay, you convinced me to go from abstain to no, so no. No. Zero, three, zero. Article 24, to see if the, um, this is, is this a big, big baby? Very big. Big, big baby, okay. Don't read it. Okay. okay. Basically, this is an, another article by petition uh, to increase, uh, to increase setbacks uh, with vegetation requirements and fencing requirements. Is that a good summary? Yep. Okay. Is, um, Mike, is, the, is this the same petitioner? Yeah. Yes. All, all, all three are the same. FinCom? Finance Committee voted to not support Article 24 in a split vote of one in favor, five opposed. I move to not approve Article 24. Second. All opposed? I oppose the article. No, oh, I oppose the article. I oppose the article. Three zero zero. Three. No, zero, oh no! Oh three zero, zero three. Yeah, we're against. We're against. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, I know. It's zero three zero. <laughs> yeah, you messed it up. By doing it. Okay, uh, Article twenty five to amend the um, uh, West Newbury. Uh, Zoning bylaw by inserting this uh, following section. Um, okay. Basically, that that it needs to have a different kind of site plan review and so forth. Uh, also, by petition. Finance committee voted in opposition in a split vote on Article Twenty Five. One in favor, five opposed. Okay, so I'll make the motion in the affirmative. Uh, move to approve Article Twenty Five. Then you can vote. Second. I think this goes to the, 
everything else we're talking about, but one thing I was, um, I don't think you should have to, you know, do the whole process when we take input. I don't believe that it's very restrictive when you start with. I think it should be um, the overlays, delineate meters and bounds and stuff. Those things should be all changed during the process. You shouldn't have to have all this set forth. That's what the whole open hearing is about. So okay. That's the reason why I put it. A vote. All in favor? I'm opposed. Opposed? Zero three zero. Okay, it wasn't too bad. Good that they're at the end too. That's kind of thing with the two boys. Then two boys. We had free hot dogs. Uh, special town meeting article um, two. Mr. Chairman. Yes. Um, Article 2 is phrased uh, to see if the town will vote to transfer from Community Preservation Act funds. The Community Preservation Committee has not voted. I thought you were voting last Thursday. They refused to vote because they did not have enough, they did not have specific information of what the $200,000 was for. They want, there's a bylaw that says cost and whatever, mm -hmm. uh, timing. Remember we added the breakout, so that's mm -hmm. what they want to see. Are they going to be able to see that before town meeting? Well, I have so no problem. We can't vote on this because it has to come out of committee before we can even consider it. Okay. Well, I can. I'll make a. Let me. Let me keep going. Um, I need to talk to Mr. Bill, and if Mr. Bill can put together a one-page breakout of how the two hundred thousand would be allocated, I don't know if that's possible. Uh, I would have no problem calling a meeting for Thursday of this week, so then we vote on Monday. My suggestion for the article, and I guess this is a question for Mike, uh, could we phrase the article to vote to transfer from available funds? An available fund could be a community preservation fund or does it have to say CPA? You would have to do an and or. To transfer from available funds and or transfer. Okay, um, and then the motion could say what it's gonna be. And that's that's good depending on the community how how the committee votes then. Yeah. so then in that case the committee could keep discussing it all the way up I, I don't think that's too much to ask I mean, no. he, had to, he had to come up with the two hundred thousand dollars somehow somebody had to told him this is going to cost two hundred thousand dollars and this is the reason why well it was the, I think the engineer came up with that number but they did not break out what all the specifics are so I think that was the issue Go he ahead. he did uh, this is a, a few weeks ago when we when we talked about the engineering. Gary did think that that the engineer would be able to come up with a reasonable um, design and reasonable cost estimate by the by town meeting. So yeah, but it has to be by they will vote. Or it doesn't, it doesn't go. Right, I understand. Well, so somebody it, might need somebody might need to tell Gary the urgency of it. Yeah, I understand. So um, based on how that would be phrased then, we could keep addressing it and keep addressing it. And if we got, we could get an affirm, affirm a vote from uh, CPA a week before. I mean, ideally it'd be good if we did it Thursday. Right. Okay. So I, don't, I don't want to vote on it. So I'm not sure if I approve it coming out of free cash. I was approving it or coming out of the table thing. I don't know if I, CPA. Well, okay, let's think about that. So if we don't approve it, what's the implication? I didn't say don't approve it. I just said we should hold off on it. Okay, so. When are you going to print? Well, reg Glenn, regardless of when they're going to print, we have to vote uh, to finalize the warrant on April 2nd. So that's our, that's our date to publish this, which is a week from today. Mm -hmm. um, okay. Let's hold it off till the second. No, I'd like to vote on it. Yeah, I, I would too. So I think the question. Well, why would, what, what, okay. We're gonna. I, I want to. I want to see this thing fixed. I want to see it. I well, want to see it that's, working. That's the question that is that's before us then. So if let's say we do not get an affirmative vote from the CPA, do we want the generator or not? Okay. I mean, we'll do everything we can to get it passed. I mean, I'm in favor of it. So what do you guys have to say? Mike's Mike. Uh, 
letter. I did. I read it. They read it. And and so there has to be some repair. I mean, What's the generator? What? The electrical is but there has to be some repair. I got I understand. The, the repair could be as little as the transfer switch though. It yeah. could be yes, we 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 we, we yes. could but there has to be some some money available, I guess, you know. We had sixty thousand dollars left in that hundred thousand dollars we gave two years ago. I think we spent some of that, but there's some some money there. You are gonna put a so don't worry about it. <laughs> you're gonna you're gonna put a hearse well, you know. you're gonna put a hearse synchro mesh transmission in a in a in a sixty two Falcon. Okay, I just okay, I got you, I got you. Let's just get off. What did you guys think? Finance committee unanimous supported Article Two in a vote of six nothing. So can you please um, you understand that it could be from free cash? Yes. My motion, my motion would be that to approve, see the time of vote to transfer from Community Preservation Act or funds and or available funds. Available funds. Uh, the sum of, of $200,000. Second. Uh, discussion? All in favor? Hold on, uh, discussion. Um, from the unrestricted fund balance of work to be formed. So that needs to be moved around. So just so we understand somewhere in this motion it needs to say that it's going to come from the Preservation Act funds and for available funds. Yeah, that, that's a weird sentence. Yeah, so let's see. We'll, we'll for work to be performed. Well, we understand that, right? Yeah. We, we failed to mention the sunset date of uh, end of fiscal year 2021. No problem. Good. I apologize. Yeah. It has to be installed this summer. Coming up. Okay, so you so all in favor? Aye. Aye. So that's potentially going to be coming up this Saturday. Well, I'm not going to write that. Hopefully not. I, I would I hate. List running there. I, I would hate for that to happen. Can I ask a question? You want to knock down free Sorry, cash, Glenn? <laughs> Yeah, but we, we, we put money in stabilization. You have to be happy. Archie, she's asking a question. Oh, excuse, excuse me. What? You questioned the unrestricted fund balance of work at the top of mind. Would you want to take that on? I don't know. We have to work it out. Work with Mike on that. I just, it, does, it sounds weird if I say, you see if the town will vote to transfer from uh, Community Preservation Act funds and why don't you say, available funds. Glenn, why don't you say from available funds and or Community Preservation funds? From, yeah. Okay, that's we, good, good, good job. Yeah, that's good. Can we, can we just let the mo they understand what the motion is, right? Yeah, I'm fine. She's and let them, I would work it out with Mike the best way to do it. Sure. Okay. I don't think we know. Just for a matter of time tonight. Article, I, article, article 3. Article 3. To see if the town will vote to transfer the sum of 110,000 from the Water Enterprise Fund free cash account and 40,000 from the Water Enterprise Stabilization Fund to install underground electric service and Comcast, in, Comcast internet from Hilltop Circle to the new Break Hill water tank. Finance Committee in a split vote voted to support article number three with a vote of five in favor and one abstention. Yes. Okay. <clears throat> I was curious who voted against it. Was there any conversation about Is it hey, abstention? No, no one voted. Oh, abstention, I'm sorry. Okay, so was there any conversation during this asking, like, how did you miss $150,000 in the beginning estimate? I understand they wanted to do solar before, and then all of a sudden they said, or Mr. Preble said to us, well, we all know it's a wooded area and solar wouldn't work. Well, it ha those trees haven't grown. Um, since we gave them the money before. To me, this almost seems like a creep project. Well, so Glenn, Glenn, it was, it was also partly from the, the, um, uh, the fire department was thinking of putting a, a, uh, an additional antenna, a uh, repeater antenna on, on, the, on the top of the new tower, and that uses a lot more juice then no but then then the actual water tower understand. would that, would have needed but that, but that proposal was i heard that proposal was from the beginning 
I just don't like to see when we spend something and we go and say, oh, the cow we did this money, then all of a sudden we come back and say, well, you know, we're going to do it differently this time, but we need another hundred and fifty thousand dollars. First part only, I abstain because I'm in a butter. You so, know what I mean by that? Yeah, so, like I said, I think it's just the recommendation from the engineers was that this, the solar project was going to be less, it wasn't any one thing, it was a couple of small things. So you mentioned some of them, but to touch on it briefly, uh, they didn't anticipate the power usage from potential fire, uh, fire department repeaters, which was going to be an issue. But perhaps also because of the wooded area, there might be issues with trees falling down onto the panels. Uh, there was possible discussion that perhaps there might be some vandalism back there because I guess kids like to go back there. Um, and then so they, they put all those things together. They thought in retrospect perhaps just having a stable, buried source of power would be more dependable. And uh, and then again, so all of a sudden now if you're digging this huge trench to run a power line up there, no, that's, that's so probably going to be they, more money. How much money did they have allocated for the solar thing? that coming out of that, or are we plussing it? You know what I mean by that? So they say, oh, we figured in our whole scheme it was going to cost $40,000 to do the solar field, so this whole other thing is going to cost $200,000, so we minus the forty five. Or, or are they, is this more of just a plus plus? Yeah, it, it, I asked that same question at, at the, the CIC meeting. I didn't get a clear answer, but I just, I'd have to assume that, again, the engineers gave them a quote for running that cable, and they put that number in. Um, okay. But again, it's not the same thing. It's like, yeah, we already spent one point seven million or dollars, and now a hundred thousand more. Yeah, but that's my, it, it but, always, that's, uh, that's yeah. Mike, Mike. Uh, I'm also under the impression, and not hundred percent, but this is probably going to be three phase power, and so that's more expensive to run than just a you know an electric car. I, I don't. I understand all of that, but nothing has changed. From, I'm just saying that we, nothing's changed when we voted on it first. We should have had all the repeaters there where we talked about that before. Everything should have been in place beforehand. And it, it sounds like it wasn't. And now we have to go ask the people for more money. Of course, we're going to give it to them. So we already have 1.9, and now we'll come back, oh, it's over budget, or whatever. I just don't like these projects. That's it. I was just curious if they gave you a. Thank no, you. They didn't give us a very good explanation. They, they did not, no. Second. All Discussion? Aye. All in favor? Aye. Aye. I have a question of Mr. McCarran on Article 4. And this is coming from their enterprise fund. Both. both. For both. Both. Mike, the phrasing on Article 4 is, is the last part of that where you say any sums remaining end of, should that be in the motion? Should this, sure. yeah, this should end by saying uh, early voting for the 2018 state election period. Period. Yeah. Okay. Who do you think you are, Archie now? Punctuation? What? Who do you think you are, Archie now with proper punctuation? <laughs> well, no, it's not punctuation. I, 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 I'm just, I'm a, I'm a spelling and punctuation failure. So am I. You, you have seen my test in you. <laughs> Try to do it going 60 miles an hour down the highway. Article 4, 4, to see if the town vote to transfer from available funds the sum of 2000 to pay the salaries and expenses pertaining to the operation of early voting for the 2018 state election. So you have that change now, yeah. Okay, good. King Tom. Finance Committee was unanimous in its support of Article 4 with a vote of 4 in favor. Okay. Make a motion to uh, approve Article 4 coming from free cash. Second. Discussion? All in favor? Aye. Aye. Five. See if the town will vote to transfer from available funds the sum of 100000 100, or perhaps not or more f to fund the snow and ice de uh, deficit. Uh, we, uh, we talked to Gary late this afternoon, and he does not have all the invoices yet. Finance committee vote. Finance committee in a split vote voted to approve Article Five with a vote of one in favor. Oh, I'm sorry, five in favor and one opposed. I move to approve Article Five, funded by free cash. Does, all in favor? 
Aye. Aye. The sunset clause in that uh, yep. end of fiscal year 2018. Yep. Yeah, uh, Glenn, did you vote? Yeah. Okay. Um, Question? Yep. Yes. If it, if 2018 is. Yeah, what if we get a bill in July? Yeah. I, I would say 20. No, he said, yeah, but the end of year fiscal 2019. So this is, I thought it said 18. He, he said 18. 18. 18. The, you, you, there, mean 18 I, you mean the year? We, we meant fiscal year 2018. I, yes. That was I intentional. Would say, I would say it's got to go till, till December. Uh, yeah. It sometimes you does, some, yeah. yeah. You could. You want to have another article because some snowplow guy didn't submit it. Because they handwrite them, them and see, yeah. See, I, I wouldn't, see, I agree with these guys. If they, you don't get them in by the end, then it's done. You, you have the implication. I mean, you, but then you have to pay it. But no, actually, that wouldn't that's happen. Why you, that's why you pay them. You'd be surprised. Yeah, you would be. No. That's the kid know right now if all the bills are in. It's not him. He's got to wait for all these subcontractors uh, to bring their bills in. I, I, okay. I can even think of somebody that, that didn't, um, somebody snow plowing that didn't cash their check for like six months. Okay. Mr. The, McCarran. Was it? Um, the thing is, is that if there was a deficit for the previous year, it would have to go in the tax. I mean, it wouldn't. I mean, it, it, meaning it, it would not be paid. It still have to be paid. It just would have to go through the process of overexpending the budget. You know, right. I mean, it just. So. Uh, All right. So yeah. December twenty eighteen. I would say December then, because it's just a pure accounting thing. It, it, we have to pay it. We have to pay it anyway. Well, and then when the bill comes in, our, we, our, we have to so come out of something else. Yeah. That's not true. No, what would happen is actually it would be the bill from a previous year that would have to go in the fall town meeting. No, it? no, 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 no. Snow and ice is different. Snow and ice, you can overexpend your budget and yeah. you can just add it to your tax. It's a, it's a unique yeah. item. You can just add it to your tax roll. Can I ask a question? Mm -hmm. So we're going to appropriate $150,000 again for next year. You can't use it that money out of. No, because that was it's for That's the prior year. Yeah, I know. I, I didn't, there's some uniqueness about this thing. I was curious if you could use it for that. No, no. the idea I, I is. Kinda, it was kind of a rhetorical question. But, uh, okay, next. Well, you guys, you guys, that's part of the mo that's part of your motion. No, it's it's it's, it's it's yeah, it's it's our motion. Yeah, so we would suggest that that's not the case, and we don't we just get the accounting system properly done. I agree with the concept, but. We have to send them to oh, deal with it, reality. You don't have to support no. our motion. Okay, Article Six. Let's see if the town will. Okay. Mary. De December twenty eighteen. To see if the town will vote to transfer from available funds the sum of five thousand nine hundred ninety one dollars and thirty five cents for the cost of equipment for the dispatch center. Finance committee. Doesn't appear to have addressed this. Oh, well, we're, we're waiting to see if the funding source is going to change. Because initially it was from a prior article, and it was our, I believe, our thoughts that it should come from free cash because the other article really wasn't the intention for this purpose. I don't have any objections. Well, exa I, we, we, we would agree with that. And, and that was, that was the, the problem. The, uh, there was. You want to vote? Yeah. So it yeah. Would be, it would be, we would recommend. Finance Committee votes unanimously to support number six. I move to approve Article 6. Second. Discussion? All in favor? Aye. 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 Um, Article 7, to see if the town will vote to transfer from available funds the sum, the sum up to, the sum of up to. It's, I'm just trying to make it a better sentence. This, uh, to well, first of all, we should change the word cover to fund, not use the word cover. You say fund. We're not covering anything. The kids have a vote to transfer from available funds, the sum 
the sum uh, of uh, it needs an of. It needs an of in there. To fund the first year of the police officer's new contract. Yep. Good. Uh, Fincom. Finance committee with unanimous support of Article 7 with a vote of 6 in favor. None opposed. No abstentions. I move to approve Article 7. Um, second. Coming from Chief Katz. Yes. Oh, yeah. Casey. Of the end of fiscal year 2018. Where is the apostrophe in officers? Is it one police officer or the police officers plural? It's multiple, so it's after the S. <laughs> uh, really? <laughs> yes. Uh, and a fiscal. Okay, year. let's 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 make sh uh, chief. Do you have a, a comment on that? Uh, the like. If if when um, it's for this year's money. It's for this year's money. It's going to be approved on April thirtieth. So yeah. we got to make sure that, that that everybody gets it before the end of the year. Well, they have to get it by the end of the year. It's for this year's. Money. It's for this year's pay. Yeah, okay. So <laughs> whatever, however, the chief wants to do. Right. Okay. Aye. Just making sure. Okay. Aye. Aye. Free cash. Yep. Article eight to see if the town will vote to transfer from available funds the sum of thirty-four thousand for the purchase of a new pol uh, police vehicle. Were you here when we had the discussion? No, no, no. You weren't here. Oh. You were. He was in the back. Oh. Minutes. Okay. Um, we took this off of the line item, the rationale being that all the cruisers get replaced once a year, every four years, there's a cycle. So that's a foreseen uh, expense. This is kind of a one-off that it's the chief's vehicle. It gets replaced every seven, eight years, whatever it is. So we did feel that it was appropriate to put it on the tax rate because it's not something that's going to be every year. A non-recurring capital expense. Or non-recurring, well, I don't know if it's a capital, but so funded by free cash. Okay. We, we uh, voted unanimously to support Article Number 8 in a vote of four in favor, none opposed, and no abstentions. I move to approve Article 8. Second. Discussion? Hearing none, all in favor? Aye. Aye. Hi. Yes. There was, um, I know Andy's not here, and that brings us to the end of the special town meeting. He had twice made a comment asking a rhetorical question. I don't know if it was rhetorical or not. Asking a question uh, do we need a FY18 article for bond interest? I had no idea what he's talking about. He asked it twice, and he's not here tonight. So He didn't. Could you give us more I, information on that? I know nothing that? about it. Bond interest. Do you, know um, you know what he was talking about? Yeah. There, was, there was a question um, that when well, we put the, uh, from the water department, uh, did, we, did they include in their expenses for oh, that right. year an amount to cover the first interest payment on the new water tank? And he, he thought they he thought they did not. And um, Laurie talked with Mike and Kay, and um, they had they have the funds. Okay. Okay. So we don't. Oh, Good. they do. Okay. Good. Good. So are we done? Are si, any senor. Questions, concerns. Okay. Good. Okay. Thank, thank you. Well, can I just yeah. make a little commentary? So before this process, we had talked about a trying to reduce the amount of uh, rolling free cash. You know, hopefully, we were going to come to, um, you guys were going to caucus, we were going to caucus, and hopefully come back to this Springtown meeting with some type of article or some type of understanding on how we're going to address this, in, this amount of free cash we seem to have uh, average every single year. And if we, 
we haven't done. I, I understand that we're getting some help from an, another organization. From the Department of Revenue? Yeah, we, we, we put everything on hold, just to, and you met with them once, so I was just curious how that went. We were waiting for information so we could start a discussion. There, they have a, I don't know what the date is exactly, they have a date scheduled, they're gonna come back and give us two different presentations. I think one is in May or June. Mm -hmm. uh, I don't know what the exact date is though. Mayor, um, it's after you, town meeting. Uh, were you guys invited to that? Would, I would like the FinCom. Well, nobody was, in, they haven't, the meeting didn't occur no, yet. No, 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 but the initial meeting, the FinCom wasn't invited to. But no, I, but there there was a separate, con I, I had it representing the FinCom, I had a separate conversation. Can I, can I address with that? With the representative. The, the lady from the Department of Revenue wanted to meet with people from the finance area. So the employees and they were asking that. questions that no, were I understand that. well you said that the finance well, committee no, no, wasn't, wasn't invited to it I'm not saying that you're, you're taking offense to that I'm not making that negative I'm okay. not making that positive because we I had a conversation with people in the finance department after you met and that's it I just want to make sure that we're I'm not saying that's a negative or a positive I don't know which one it is but I'm not saying it was deliberate I'm just saying that I want to I don't want this to be on the back burner and just be put off somewhere I'm hoping that we can start generating this conversation again if you're asking if they're coming back, they are. They're working on it. And the, the finance committee, as uh, I've expressed to DLS and, and to uh, a couple of you, does want to be included in all future meetings just because of the the nature of the conversations and the and the newness of some of the members. We think it would it would help out on multiple levels. Mm -hmm. yeah, they're coming back at night to present to both to both of us. Really? Okay. Good. So now, um, both of us as in you, or both of us as in us. Or anybody can both anybody. of us meaning yeah it's a public meeting but I was referring to the Board of Selectmen and the Finance Committee okay cool um, so it looks like if everything passes that we're going to spend four hundred and eighty eight thousand dollars out of free cash this spring time meeting and we approximately Andy wasn't in but we approximately have like one point seven or one point La last numbers that we had which are November ish were one point four four I think you're correct. Okay, so we're going to bring it down under 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 a million dollars, and then we'll see what zeroes out and all this stuff. For me. So we could be, if if history serves us correctly, we're going to be up around 1.4 when we get certified again. Just as a reminder, it was approved uh, policy of the finance committee. Um, to reduce the levels of free cash to three to five percent at the Springtown meeting. Um, so it's just something to keep in mind. So we did kind of approve that as a policy just to kind of give it a try in lieu of anything we may learn from DLS, obviously. Mm -hmm. But so that is kind of a standing policy we oh, do have. I just want to make sure the conversation goes on. We went through a cycle in the open to get something. And I understand it takes a little bit of time. But it looks like we're just going to be as if history shows correctly, and the things that zero out the free cash like we always do, and they have been historically, we're just going to end up being exactly the same way we are. But Glenn, if you if you if you want to do something, if you really wanted to to change that, you could you could fund the stabilization with free cash. We'd knock down a free cash and save three hundred thousand from the tax rate. I would agree with that, but I don't think that's the proper way to do it at this point. I know. So you, 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 <laughs> yeah, but, but, but the wheel like, keeps on turning. But let's start doing it. Am I going to get support from you guys? For what? I, I was told, uh, are you in this conversation or you don't want to be in it? No, I didn't know what your question oh, was. Because I, I was told that we should put everything on hold. That I think Mr. Uh, Anderson said that because uh, we should get help from the Department of Revenue and do that. And then I, I agreed with that, but I'm just saying that I want to make sure that we understand that we're going to be back where we, we started with, and hopefully we can have those discussions to move forward. I, 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 don't, I, don't, do I, I don't know what the answer is of how we're going to do it, but I would advocate to be at the end of the fall sequence of town meetings. I don't know if we're going to have one or two, but at the end of the fall sequence of town meetings that we are at the 5% or less mm -hmm. on free cash. Annually, in, in a yeah. mechanism in place that we won't, there won't be any creep track. Yes, now I'm not agreeing to what that is, but yes, I agree to doing the 5%. Mm -hmm. 
I, and the reason I'm saying that is I'd like to hear the DLS. Did, no, 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 did, no, I'm, just, I'm not saying to do it, but you're right, Archie. I could do that, but I don't think that's the proper budgeting because I think. I, I would agree. I think we should, the stabilization needs to be in our raise and appropriate. It, it needs to be on the tax rate. We've got an opportunity to get it on the tax rate, so that's and a good idea. And hopefully we can keep it's it. It's a great there. idea to do it. Okay. Um, did, just as a, a process question, did did they say that when they've done this with with other towns that I mean, you may not know did, did, that that this is something that they okay here's here's your fix and it it fixes or it takes five years to work it out how did they say anything about no, no, that I or? think you're, this meeting that she she was looking for information and numbers from like the accountant and the treasurer it wasn't that kind of meeting okay I you know I just wondered if if they're they're historically she, what she they was, had she done was with people. The information in order to put together what she's putting together to bring back to us. Okay. Yeah, what is she bringing back to us? A recommendation she's, how she's, to get there? She's bringing no. She, I, oh. I think our um, uh, community compact things were what were they? Uh, finance policies and a five-year forecast. That's what she's bringing us. One will be two. There are two separate meetings. First will be the policies. And then the and then the forecast. So the Paul, this would. Um, the first one would be the financial policies. Yeah, I understand that. Yeah. So this would fall under the financial policies because we hope this would be could. a financial policy. Could yeah could. Okay. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. Make a motion to adjourn. No. Future agenda. Okay. Do you have anything either? Um, yeah. I do. Yeah. Go go ahead, Joe. Um, I'd like to schedule, and I, not necessarily at the next meeting because it's you know it depends on his schedule, but schedule Tony Roselli to come in to review the audit. And Mary, that email you sent out today, did he have a management letter? I reviewed what you sent out, and I didn't see his management letter. What's that? Okay. All right. That's fine. I just yeah. wondered. So why don't we schedule? When we get everything in place, then why don't we the management letter and everything? And then we schedule. Then we'll schedule for the next meeting. Well, usually with him, you, it's his schedule. It's not necessarily the next meeting. So it's maybe two or three. I meetings. thought you already said that we wanted to have him in at the town meeting. No, I never said that. Who did you say was coming at the town meeting? Uh, not him. I mean, why don't you, you have this hour schedule, so just ask him when he's available. Yeah, I mean, we can do that anytime. Yeah. yeah. Maybe not next meeting, but. No, I, I wasn't saying next no, meeting. No, 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 but I mean, it's not something we have to prepare too much for. Yeah, that's right. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Well, yeah, we're going to get tomorrow, so, yeah. Well, if that's yeah. Whenever. Yeah, whenever he wants. I think, Joe, I, think Joe's, I think Joe's saying, I think Joe's saying that he wants to meet with them. And sometimes he's hard to, to um, he has, down. He has other commitments. Yeah, he has other commitments. So why don't we, we're going to get the management letter eventually. So you know we, Let's have, just, we have the, uh, tell him we have the second. Then the seventeenth, and maybe the first first meeting in uh, April or, the, or May. Yeah, the second April. meeting. The second meeting in we meet election night. No. So the, whatever the first meeting in May is. Right. A anytime he wants, April, May, whatever. Okay. So next thing, I'd like Mr. McCarron's attention. Mike, can you just wait, Mike? Joe wants to talk to you. So we're talking about future agenda, and I'm referencing what you had said last time. You had said we should propose amendments to the personnel policy for the Pregnant Workers Fairness Act, and right. and how did you phrase the other one? The other one was just to simply to uh, amend the computer and internet policy to include social media. Oh, okay. So, so we have the social media policy which we filed the town deals. Right. Oh, okay. Right. And then you have you want to put the standards. Amend the person, and then separate from that vote a person a uh, social media policy separate from the personnel policy amendment right 
Right. Okay. Got you. And the reason why we we waited till tonight and not last week because Mary, Mary would have to write it all up and it has to be posted all around town. Yes. So the changes to the to the pregnancy workers policy to add that into the appendix mm -hmm. and the uh, changes to the social media policy mm -hmm. we have to do. The so changes. could you could you work with Mary um, on the wording of that and then she could put it up and then so she can get it around town. So that one we'll have to wait for a couple of meetings. The social media we could do the next meeting. So she she needs to post all that. She not, 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 she doesn't need to post. Not post, but she has to she has to put it here. She has to put it at the fire station. She only has to post the changes to our personnel policy. The, the, yes, that's what I'm saying. Yes, but the social the the other social media policy, which is how, how that's know, just a vote. It's a vote of this board. Act, enacting policies under the new legislation. Right. Okay. Last item, and again, the, it could be the next meeting or the following meeting, either one, but it has to be during April, is to appoint the Board of Fire Engineers. I have a lot of new candidates. So it needs to, I would have to have uh, uh, a It has to be during the month of April. 17th. And then we have the 30th, right? Not the 30th. That's town meeting. I know. I'm just, I know. We have the 2nd, the 17th, and the 30th, right? 2nd so or 17th. I would do the 17th. Why? Why not? Get it done. Get it done, son. No. I want the 17th, please. Unless you have a compelling reason why you want it the 2nd. Well, do you, it doesn't we don't do have, you have a do compelling it? reason why you want it the 17th? Yeah. What's that? I think there's a lot of people that want to uh, do it and give them some more time to get their uh, application and get their cover letters in. Why, why, why restrict it, it, it uh, if we don't need to? Because it we only it doesn't. As long as we do it in April, that's it does. Their appointments are good until the end of April, so it doesn't matter if we do it the first day or the last day. It's not won't change anything. Whatever, we could do it the seventeenth. But I don't think we should do it. We cannot do it during town meeting because if there are people. I, just, I said the 17th. Okay. I'm, in my head, I said we have the 2nd, okay. the 17th, and the 30th. That, those are our scheduled meetings okay. every other week. And of course, you don't want to do it. We have to post a meeting for the. You want to post a meeting over there for whatever, just in case you need to do anything. But not, we generally don't. But have it for the 17th. Okay, good. Who's them? I would post. I, I would post anything like you've always posted that we're board of selectmen are select, uh, selecting. We're going to be appointing the board of fire engineers on the seventeenth. Well, first of all, first of all, we have three board of fire engineers. I would ask them if they want to be reappointed. That would be the first thing I would do. Right. Mm -hmm. That would be the first thing I would do. And however you get the word out to people, I'm not sure how you do it, I would say that we're going to be... Well, I would think that would be the, 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 the chief could announce to uh, the other people... That, that actually, that, that, that's an excellent idea. I'm not trying to make this more complicated. No, just tell, just, tell, just tell Mike, just tell Mike D that, that, that we're going to be... If he, could make, if he could send out something to his rank and file that we'll be appointing the Board of Fire Engineers. On and April any 17th. interested parties should collect, should con, contact the Board of Selectmen. Selectmen. And I would, I would contact the three Board of Fire Engineers and ask them if they want to be reappointed. I have that email, so I'll send that. I mean, that would be important. That's, okay, that's, oh. that's all good. Yeah. I move to adjourn. All in Aye. favor? Aye. Aye. Have a good night.